Uh, we have. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Um, anyway, we got plenty for a quorum. I think everyone is here who's going to be here. I mentioned to somebody earlier that Susan won't be able to join us because she's got a doctor's appointment. So why don't we get started? Uh, with a quorum, we're okay. Uh, as far as the agenda, I haven't heard any changes, so we'll deem it adopted. Um, everybody has been sent the minutes of September 8th, 2021, and neither Christine nor I have received any edits. So without objection, we'll deem that adopted. I'd like to uh, welcome our newest commissioner, Galina Tevorovsky, appointed by the County Council this past Tuesday uh, upon nomination by the County Executive. Welcome, Galena. Galena is filling Laura's vacancy. Um, and I'd ask, ask if everybody would go around the horn here and introduce themselves. Uh, let's start with uh, Ron at the top. And uh, if we can see everybody on the screen, Ron, introduce yourself, please. Okay. Good morning, Galena. I'm Ron, uh, a CPA by profession, uh, but also have a master's in social work and a PhD in healthcare administration. And um, we welcome you. Thank you. Larry? Uh, hi, I'm Larry Lauer from Albany, Maryland, and uh, uh, I'm a retired uh, University of Maryland uh, administrator, and uh, I've been on this is my second term. I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> so, uh, welcome. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll learn a lot about local government. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Kathy? Hi, I'm Kathy Googlis. I live in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I've lived in um, Montgomery County for oh, about 50 years almost. I was a retired federal executive, and um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Dave? Hey, good morning, Galena. David Hill. Um, I'm a lawyer. Um, I own practice and a 30-year resident of Montgomery County. I've uh, lived in various parts of Silver Spring for that entire 30 years. Welcome. Um, thank you. Uh, sticking with the commissioners right now, uh, Perry uh, Pale is on the phone. Perry, oh, there you go. We got your picture there, Perry. Yeah, good morning. I'm Perry Paler, uh, raised here in Silver Spring, graduated from Payne Branch High School, and I'm a practicing attorney, and I'm a prosecutor in a neighboring jurisdiction. Nicole? Good morning, Galena, and welcome. Uh, I am from Silver Spring, Maryland. I'm a principal research scientist and full-time faculty member. Thanks, Nicole. Um, we've got uh, Chris on the phone. Chris Stanley. Hey, Galena. I'm Chris Stanley. I'm an attorney. I work in a private law firm in the Washington, uh, in Washington D.C., and I live in Chevy Chase. And we're happy to have you aboard. Okay, I think that gets all the commissioners right. All right. How about staff? Uh, Ed Latner. Ed? But, yeah, yeah, hi, Glee. It's um, Ed Latner. We had uh, met before during your interview with the uh, county attorney's office. Thank you. Uh, Marie Jean? Council staff, welcome, Galina. Thank you. All right. Uh, a big honcho, Christine. Christine? <laughs> Christine, you're on mute. No. Sorry, a little trouble <laughs> unmuting there. Uh, good morning and welcome. We exchanged some emails. It's nice to see you uh, quasi in person and virtually. Um, thanks so much for joining the Charter Review Commission. I am also council staff. Uh, feel free to contact any of us um, when we can be of assistance. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Stephen, you want to add anything else to you, the introduction Christine gave you? No, I think she did a pretty good job. I'm just happy to be helpful and, you know, anything you guys need and welcome, Galena. Thank you. All right, Galena, it's your show. Do you want to give any background? Uh, my name is Galena, <clears throat> Galena Tiverovsky. As George told me, we call by name. It's very nice. 
I live in our county since 19, 1992, when we legally immigrated from Moscow. Uh, in 1998, I became a, a citizen of the United States. Uh, by degree, I am an engineer and by experience, but uh, in, in Soviet Union. But here I could not continue managing my engineering uh, after English classes and job hunting classes, an agency that helped us to relocate. I volunteered in the Hebrew Academy, school where my daughter was a student. And by advice of administration, I took several courses in uh, Montgomery Community College, uh, psychology, general psychology, child psychology, something, and others. And after a year of volunteering in the school, I've been hired as library and teacher assistant. Uh, I worked nine years in, in the school, and then I applied for position in the Library of Congress. I've been hired and worked since 2002 in the Library of Congress in Asian and Middle Eastern Division, uh, performing cataloging and acquisition. Uh, along with work I did, I'm a member of uh, Library of Congress Professional Association, and for years I am I serve in on in uh, art show committee. We annually um, we annually pr produce exhibit in the library of artworks of our employees. I also, as a member of the uh, Library of Congress Coral, I for some uh, I was on board, served on board as a treasurer, and also uh, I was for some years the president of local chapter of Association of Jewish Libraries, and I hope very much that my my serving in uh, for. Professional, professional associations in the library, it will help me to, to be efficient and learning from you. I hope to be efficient in uh, the commission and uh, do my best to, to meet, to work, uh, to work on issues that our county needs. And I like living in our county. And I'm very um, touched that I was moved and joined as such a great team. Thank you very much. Thank you, Galena. Well, welcome again. All right, moving into our agenda. Um, I thank Christine for uh, sending out in advance of the meeting and then again on the agenda, our uh, date for our listening sessions, the schedule of listening sessions, starting with our, our three virtual sessions two in November, one in December, uh, on different days of the week, different times, uh, as the commissioners had wanted, um, followed by two in-person sessions in January and February. Uh, the As we had indicated when we last met, and I, even the meeting before, I think, um, uh, back before the summer, we had discussed that the in-person sessions uh, might very well be changed to virtual sessions if the uh, COVID crisis has not, oops, I must have touched something. My screen is off here. Uh, if, uh, can you hear me still? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I lost my screen, but you can hear me. Um, if uh, if uh, the COVID crisis is not over yet, the virtual, the uh, in-person sessions could change to virtual. And of course, if inclement weather uh, should prevail, then they also could change to virtual uh, sessions. Um, but the in-person sessions, uh, we capture one of them being in the up county uh, regional service center intentionally because as you'll recall last year or for the last cycle, uh, it was the up county one that we had to cancel because 
of the uh, advent of COVID and the other in-person session uh, will be in the council office building. So any comments or questions about the schedule? It looks good. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Christine, for uh, scheduling those and uh, pinning that down because I know that's not easy. Um, so moving on to, uh, trying to think how to get my screen back on here. Um, it's a review of the draft press release, George. Right. No, no, I know that. Thank you, David. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm playing around trying to figure out how to get my screen back on here without losing you guys altogether. No, yes. The next thing is the review of the press release. Uh, uh, as you asked me to do, I went back uh, with the assistance of Christine and uh, Ron, took another look at the press release, made edits. Uh, in particular, as you'll note in the uh, uh, the first full paragraph or the uh, second paragraph, and again later on, uh, made specific reference to the fact that the um, in-person sessions might very well be changed, uh, as I said previously, uh, if in fact we had inclement weather or the continuation of the COVID emergency, and we put that language in there. We also made some uh, edits uh, to try to tighten it up a little bit and to make it a little less verbose. That was not easy, but we did make some edits uh, to shorten it a little bit, and those are shown in red. Um, and uh, we flipped a, uh, around the order of the virtual and the in-person uh, and made a few other changes. So that's before you to take a final look at if you had any other suggestions, we obviously will take them uh, under advisement. Uh, any thoughts about the, uh, my understanding from Christine, I think she wrote that in the email she sent us uh, a week or so ago that she would be sending this out in the next week or two after further review by the council staff. Am I correct, Christine? Yes, and, and actually, I believe that I'll consult with the press, the council's press office. I believe once you have it finalized, they'll probably want to send it out this week or next week, at least initially, um, since the first session is coming up. I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear okay. You. Okay. Do you want, did you need me to repeat, George? Yeah, would you just one more time? My my internet connection was unstable. It's saying if you just okay, add, right? I think once I think once the commission has uh, finalized the release, I'll sh I'll share it with the press office. They're anticipating it, and then I believe they'll probably send it out initially this week or next, um, since the first session is coming up in very early November. Right, we do need to get it out. November third is the first session. Okay, and then it'll also be posted on our website, I'm assuming. Correct. Um, and also I need to get on the website the link so that folks can sign up. The link is live and I think I sent it to you all. I can resend it as well as making sure it gets on the website, but the link for uh, speakers to sign up is okay. live for the first meeting. I think I need to still square away the subsequent signups. Will all the future listening session dates also be listed on our website so that people will be able to see what the future dates are as well? Yes, yes. They just might not be able to sign up right away for them, but- um, No, that I, that we'll I understand. Sure to, right, okay. We'll be sure to put them up there. Thank you, thank you. Any other thoughts on the press release? George, yes, a couple, um, well, one, a thought and then a suggestion. Um, th thank you for the modifications. I, I think you did a great job um, modifying, editing this. The third paragraph, one, two, three, the last right. sentence that starts these recommendations, <clears throat> um, right. you needs to be the it needs to be fixed grammatically. Okay. These one recommendations minute. may lead to proposed chart proposed amendments being placed on the ballot to be voted upon. Or okay, no, that's, that's good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Being placed on the ballot, that are voted upon by to, okay. to be voted, to be voted on. Okay, mm -hmm. to be voted. 
Right. Okay, that's good. Thank you. That's, that's tighter and better to be voted upon by writers. Thank you, David. Good. All right. Easy fix. Thank you. Appreciate that. Others? Going once, going twice. All right, then we will uh, get this press release ready, uh, subject to any other changes, hopefully not substantive, uh, by uh, council staff uh, to have it ready to go out in as wide a distribution as possible. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a good turnout. But the next uh, item on the agenda uh, uh, may sound technical or may not sound technical, but I, I'm looking at it somewhat from a technical eye, and I brought it up to Christine uh, uh, in Iran. Uh, it's one thing running these, uh, these commission meetings, which is pretty easy, but I don't know how the process flows in running a listening session qua hearing. Um, and calling upon people and bringing them up on the uh, on the screen, Christine, um, making sure everyone has that opportunity to speak, as well as the commissioners to weigh in and following up with questions uh, of the speakers. Um, how does that take place uh, uh, during a virtual session? Um, making sure people get their opportunity to speak at the right time um, right. using the platform. Uh, technically, it's just all of us are in different spaces. Right, I think that, um, I think that you'll need a staff moderator, which I'm guessing, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm guessing will be me. I'm going to meet with the um, IT folks um, on the council staff to sort of get a tutorial of how to go about it. Um, and I'll also ask the press office. I don't think that we'll have, I'm not sure, but I don't think that we'll have staff. I know that the press office is down to at least a couple people and they won't be able to um, be providing us with you know live assistance during that time. So I think that it's gonna have to be that I get trained um, by the IT and or press people and then assist you with with moderating, um, you know, kind of in a similar fashion to what's done during the council meetings, as I'm sure you've seen those. Um, sure. Yeah I, think it would be, yeah, I figured it would be analogous to that uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, you need to be comfortable and I need to be comfortable, I guess, uh, in doing it and how we hand it off back and forth and then call upon our commissioners, obviously, as they wish to uh, weigh in. Right, maybe you and I, George, could do sort of a tutorial with the IT folks um, sooner rather than later so that we can both feel comfortable about yeah. managing it. Don't want to volunteer him, but Ron, I would suggest Ron participate yeah. in that as well. I was raising my hand for the very reason. Thanks, David. <laughs> no, David, I think that's a good suggestion because it could be a time I miss the uh, being able to chair it. Right now, everything looks good on my calendar, but in case something comes up, I think that's a good idea, Ron, participate. And Christine, I at least know how to turn on the laptop, so be careful. <laughs> <when you're framing. laughs> I have no doubt that... <laughs> Your knowledge far surpasses mine. <laughs> um, okay, and so that obviously includes being able to throw it over to any commissioner uh, to be able to uh, speak up. Um, uh, so everybody who uh, signs up uh, will then be poised to uh, have their uh, mic and video turned on when they're ready to speak, obviously. the people who've signed up to testify. 
correct. Um, you know, and I, I suspect, you know, it, there will be, you know, just like with any virtual meeting, there may be one or two glitches, but um, yeah. we'll make it as smooth as we can. I'm um, sure, sure after the first one, it'll go well in the future, but you're right. Uh, I'm not, I won't be upset if we have a glitch or two the first time, but uh, it's just a matter of knowing what we're supposed to be doing, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Hey, George. Yes, Ron. I believe we mentioned that uh, any of the uh, participants can send in a statement beforehand. And if they do, will that be disseminated out to the commissioners? Thank you, Ron. Yes, we, we, uh, I think we uh, asked in the press release, if you have a prepared statement, please bring it. Um, maybe the wording should be to submit. Um, or well, it does says, please bring or email, since obviously we have uh, two uh, in-person statements. I, I guess that language is correct. So yes, anything that's submitted uh, to the commission will be shared with all the commissioners, which we did last time around as well. So thank you, Ron, for mentioning that. Yeah, we'll make sure that anybody who's speaking, if they would so uh, be so kind to submit their written statement, um, and then we'll circulate that, uh, not circulate, we'll, we'll provide a copy to every commissioner for sure. And um, if possible, post it on our, our website as well. Okay. We'll also be uh, videotaping these as well, right, uh, Christine? Correct. And we'll post that on our website as we did last year. Yes. Okay, thank you. Any other questions as far as the process? This is this is Chris. I just yeah, wanted to say I thought the the last listening sessions we had were really good. Um, it was a lot of good material. The the record was was accessible to everybody, and I thought that was a really good process. So if we can repeat that, and it sounds like we're we're aiming for that, then that would be really great. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Um, okay. Any other questions about the process? As you can see, I'm a little nervous only because we haven't done it virtually before, but I'm sure uh, with uh, allowance for some, some blips, I'm sure it'll go well after the first one. And uh, I look forward to when we can do it in person, just as I look forward to when we can have our meetings back in person. Any, any sense of that, uh, Christine? Is the County Council planning to go back in person within the next month or so? What do you think? Um, not within the next month or so. I mean, I, um, this is like just prognosticating somewhat on my part because I honestly don't know when they're going back, but um, I, I think in the new, I would guess in the new year. All right. That's uh, two months away, <laughs> two and a half months away. Um, it would be nice. Of course, it would be nice if we get over this COVID crisis we're in for sure. So we'll see. We're about 98% vaccinated in the county, so I don't know why. <laughs> you can't get much over 100. Yeah, no, it is nice that our county has such a high vaccination rate. I got my booster shot about a week and a half ago. Uh, I think, pretty... oh, sorry, right. to, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted no, no, to no, remind no. folks, I think part of the issue with the council building is that they um, are, they have renovations going on to their third floor. Um, hearing room um, and that seems to be slowing them down a bit because their alternate hearing rooms are much smaller so don't permit the so don't permit as much social distancing so that's good that's part of the mix of why they're not back yet they've been doing those renovations for a long time haven't they gee wow Okay. Well, they got to make room for the new council members that will be coming on because of the redistricting. That's true. Gonna have that. So it means they got to make up a couple new offices and yeah, government Good work point. on doing renovations takes forever. Anybody that's ever done it. You know. Yeah, so, we're also moving our the uh, legislative in information services are being moved to make more room for the new council members. Uh, so they're downsizing. So there are a few projects going on. Ah, okay. We're blaming, we're blaming on Stephen. 
It's his new office. Is that it? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for that. Well, I can't believe this is going to be our earliest meeting, it looks like, getting done. I can't believe it'll hey, be. George, can I just raise an issue? Yes, Chris. Um, Chris. Not to not to prolong the the <laughs> quickest meeting we've ever had, but um, but you are, just, but you I'm, are. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm just flagging this um, for the for the commission's consideration uh, after the listening sessions and when we start finalizing the report that goes to the council. The 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 question about competing ballot proposals. Yeah. While we're while we're we're visiting this issue, I think we should also consider how how those competing ballot proposals are are described on the on the on the ballot to make to make it clear um, to the the voters you know why they're why they're competing ballot proposals. Um. Yeah, of course. Well, we have to revisit it. Uh, we preliminarily. Um, drafted some language and obviously the intent was to revisit it after the listening session as with the other two issues so uh okay. I'm definitely open to that while we uh while we came up with originally or preliminarily i should say was if at a congressional or general election held after 2022 voters approved charter amendments containing provisions so inconsistent that only one can be given effect. Only the amendment that receives the highest number of favorable votes must take effect and amend the charter. So that was the language we arrived at uh, after our other discussion, uh, our extended discussion, I should say. But I'm open to any discussion we have uh, subsequently after the listening sessions, for sure. That was the intent. So, yeah, yeah, and 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 that and that was my understanding too. So I appreciate that, George. Yeah, sure. I'm open to it. Right. Sure, George. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Again, not to prolong this, I still think we'll beat the record. Um, the last <laughs> bullet, and just I just as you as Chris's question brought my attention to it, the last bullet and the on, on the early the press pre release. The press release. Yeah. yeah. Um, the the sentence. <laughs> The sentence, uh, the first sentence, basically, after the last clause, but are reconcilable, as was possible, I would prefer last election cycle or in the last election cycle, as opposed to as was possible last election. I, I see the sentence, but I'm not sure I'm zeroing in on the language change. Here. As was possible <laughs> last selection, at last election, that something I'm suggesting maybe in the last election cycle or you know, just last election seems a little. You think that, that that doesn't that's not clear enough? I mean, I think it, that's what possible last election. I'm offering it. it. It's not. It's not nearly as challenging as the other one I noted. Um, I know. To I, me. know. I, I hear you. I hear you, David. I'm trying. So right now, let me just read it for a second silently. Okay, with a minute, clear. All right. This was past for last election. So you would rather read as was past possible the last election cycle? Yes. George. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Christine. Uh, this is Kathy. Oh, Kathy, Kathy um, sorry. Would it help to say in the 2020 election cycle? So to be precise. I can get behind that. Uh, as was possible, the the 20 in the 20. 20. As is possible. In, in the 20. 20. 20. In the 2020 election. election. As was possible in the 2020 election. Yes. All right. Okay, everybody, that? As is possible in the 2020 election. Okay. Thank you, guys. That makes it clearer. All right. Thank you. Anything else? You guys are trying to make this not the <laughs> meeting. I can see that. No, no, I'm only kidding. Um, okay, that's good. Thank you for that change. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Kathy. Um, anything else? Would it go to the order? 
George, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, no, you're not. Um, no, you're not. You're I'm not, not sorry. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> I did want to just, because of something that I said earlier, want to want to somewhat correct myself. The okay. live meetings that we have, I'm not sure if those are, excuse me, the live meet, the in-person meetings we have, I am not sure if those are going to be, uh, they will be recorded. I'm not sure if they will be um, streamed live on the cable as they were last time. That's still a, a little bit up in the air uh, with our press office, but uh, you know, they will be recorded and posted, but I just wanted to let folks know, I believe last time that it was I don't um, think so. I don't or maybe think it was just recorded streamed. and then posted. They were posted. recorded. They were recorded and posted. Streamed. But okay. I don't think they were streamed. I'd love them to be streamed, but I don't think they were streamed last time. Okay. Does anybody else think they were streamed? No. I don't think they were streamed. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for my confusion then. No, no. I, I, I would keep, keep thinking that way. I would love them to be streamed, but I don't think they were. Uh, they definitely were recorded and posted on the website. Um, if you can get them streamed, keep thinking that way, Christine. Okay. Well, I've essentially been told that they won't be streamed, but <laughs> well, you keep fighting. If I can, if <laughs> maybe things will change before okay. uh, before they come around. Thanks. All right. Keep, keep having that wishful thinking, then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for mentioning that. Okay. All right. Any other for the good of the order? All right. Then we will adjourn early. Galena, don't keep thinking this is the way it's always going to be. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad we can get done early. People can go their their ways. Uh, next meeting, uh, we'll we'll discuss the uh, get fee the feedback from the November third uh, uh, listening session. Okay, and how that went and the substantive feedback from that meeting. So. Do I hear a motion for adjournment? So moved. All right, second? Second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, it carries. I didn't call on negative votes. Anybody against, I apologize. All right, all those <laughs> in favor, it passes. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Please stay safe. Take care. Take care, everybody. Please. All right, everybody, take care. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.